And we're looking at the next walking stick. Uh, have this piece of eight quarter butternut. A little bit of a live edge here, which we'll have to work around. And a pretty mangled top. Uh, there you go. So what I've been doing is laying out, you see there the pencil lines, going to curve in, miss most of that. This part here will be the handle, and then tapering down all the way to the tip. Uh, a couple of defects, but that'll all sort of work its way out. It's a little thicker than I need, certainly here at the bottom. So what we're going to do is cut all this out with the jigsaw. And uh, the piece that's left over, looks like I'll be able to make a cane or something out of that. So we're going to keep that because it is a nice piece of wood. And this should work out real nice. We did the basket weave, one of the basket weaves out of this, this wood, out of this slab a little while back. And I've been keeping this one, but I think it's time to dig into it. So here we go.
So what we're going to be doing is a scale pattern. Just diving into the top of each one of those diamonds. So let me show you how it's done. So what we have is a straightforward chip carving knife. Really that's all you need. So once you've laid out the lines, you're going to be making two stop cuts. Take your time with these. You certainly don't want to rush. Make sure they're deep enough at the tip where we're going to be doing most of the carving. And then you're just going to pare away to the tip. It's a very straightforward design and certainly if you're new to carving this is a perfect one to start with. Really doesn't take much. Just a little bit of patience. All right, so I think we're pretty much all done now for the carving. Let's give you a little rundown of what's going on. Nice topper, handle's going to be here. So a nice topper with an inlay detail. Let's take a look at that grain. Beautiful butternut. That one's going to pop beautifully. Tapers down to a beautiful handle. Little detail and then sort of a secondary handle when you're going uphill. It's a place to hang on. Then we did the uh, what I call the dragon scale pattern. That came out really well, nice, easy to carve. And then we tapered it all down to where a rubber foot's going to go. Put a hook on just to be able to hang it for when we do the finish. And the finish we've got today is something a little different. I've been using it to uh, refinish some furniture, and uh, it's going to be a wipe on poly. Uh, I think for the butternut. It should work out really well, easy to use, uh, just put it on with a rag and really it's a, it's a no fuss situation. So maybe three or four coats of this and uh, let's get to it. So just a little piece of uh, an old t-shirt. Oh, fantastic coloring. Look at that. Just gorgeous.
So, I think we're just about done this one. Let me walk you through this beautiful butternut walking stick. A little bit shorter than I normally make it, but nice little topper right there. Good handle. Let's take a look at that grain. A little detail on top. That butternut came out fantastic. Really couldn't wish for anything more in this grain. Little dot pattern. Come down to a nice handle right here. Little stop point for the hand. Then a little secondary handle when you're going uphill you want to grab it a little bit lower. Did this wonderful what I call the uh, dragon scale pattern. That came out really well. No complaints there either. Goes down most of the way. And of course we taper down to our standard little rubber foot. This is a uh, I think a seven eighths. Again, that grain, the wood's doing most of the work, which is always a, a good way to become a nice woodworker or a good worker. Woodworker is uh, to choose nice grain, nice wood. Let it do the work for you. But you see that shadow effect as it spins. All those little contours really helping out. And of course this top, I'm really liking the way that, that worked out. Good spot for the hand. Perfect fit, but take a look at that one again. Shine came out nice. I wanted this one a bit shinier. Um, again, to show off this grain. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope I earned... Uh, you watching the whole video, please hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, I want to thank a few of the members hitting the uh, uh, the thanks button down below. That's been helping out. I mean, that's the only way I really fund this little channel of mine is by doing that. So thank you for all the subscribers doing that. And again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.